Hello, 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 everybody. Specialty meet uh, professionals. How are you? So, if you are stuck without getting any promotion for some time now, then uh, this class is for you. And it is not any rocket science how to how to do that. What do you do? Just have my words in your mind that whatever you are doing, you need to keep a documentation of whatever you are doing. Why you need to do that is, that is part of organizational learning. Because whatever you are doing, it is not only relevant for this day, it has to be relevant for all the time to come. Have you realized that? That is my first question. Most mid-career professional, they take pride in doing whatever they are doing. And that is perfectly all right. You are okay, good to go. But suppose you need to repeat or do the same thing sometimes in future. How will you do that? If you have already a documented experience, it will be very easy for you to take care of that. Do you agree? So here I'm Samgita. I'm your USP creator and coach. You have to, we, as you know, we, we use this USB, unbeatable USB, to accelerate your career. Let me share the screen so that we can discuss it better. Can you see the screen? Yes. So, six tried and true principles for timely promotion. The first thing is goal getter challenge. Whatever you you are setting your goal, setting your career goals to be. You need to declare to the world that you have arrived. And how do you do that? I'll, I'll tell you my experience. I have been doing a lot of things in my career and I was thinking that this is the best thing that can be done. Of course, many people agree to that. But when it came to promotion, you know, not many people thought that I should be given a promotion. So first of all, did I think that I should be prom promoted? Yes, I think. Uh, in, uh, everybody thinks about a promotion, right? When you do good, you expect a promotion. But whether you allow yourself to be promoted, how do you think that you will show to the world that also matters? But again, I, I, I'm not going to very abstract things, but there are action steps which you can take, which actually will get broadcasted if you have this in mind. So what is your, what is your ob overarching objective or vision? So you need to write a big vision statement. Whatever comes to your mind, you can be very abstract. Do all that. And then it is how do you do that? What uh, vision statement that you write? So put a long term goal and ultimate vision and dream. See, don't judge yourself right now. Write whatever comes to your mind and it has to be very big, 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 huge goals which doesn't appear to be normal. It has to be like that. Second is 
why is this goal important to you? Why that big goal is important to you? Like I was thinking that I should ride a horse to my school. So why was that goal important to me? Because I wanted to be superior to everybody else. I was already superior, you know. You need to understand that also. Already superior in terms of studies, right? What else I needed to show, I don't yet, I don't actually remember anymore because that was a childhood dream and many people think many things. I wanted to be a rocket scientist. I wanted to go to NASA, although I didn't know what NASA was about at that moment of time. But this is the thing, right? And branding story. So that was a childhood dream. Many of us still have that uh, childhood dreams and such kind of uh, things. But if we don't um, explain, you know, then it is a childhood dream as well, even till now. So, but anything, anything which, which makes you more, that will be true importance, right? We need to do that. For example, our individual contribution towards the global warming thing, we have to be more, right now the AC is running. So uh, right now I'm feeling guilty about uh, creating more carbon dioxide which is going to the atmosphere and doing the global work. Do I have a choice? Yes, I have a lifestyle choice, but that is very difficult to uh, do because in certain kind of situation, the, the kind of home that I have, but as, as I am narrating it to you, maybe uh, becoming more natural, more uh, nature dependent can solve the problem and that is the responsibility. It is very easy right now not to pay attention to whatever we are thinking, but when we give a real serious thought to it, actually we can do. And that becomes our branding story, who we become. Right? What specific measurable outcome do you want to achieve? Everybody knows this. It has to be a smart goal. And every smart goal is a milestone. What is the deadline or time frame for achieving this goal? So, next 90 days and percentage of achievement. So, how this becomes easy is whatever you are trying to achieve after 90 days. Today, did you do anything which will lead to that achievement after 90 days? So, if you have done that little thing, whether it has yielded any result or not, it doesn't matter. But if you have done, then actually you have claimed your deservedness towards that success. What are the key milestones or steps required to reach your goal? So, as I said, when you define a goal, if you have taken some action and if it has yielded a result or an experience, that is a win. And whatever everyday action point that you have put up, wait, that is that is very important going forward because not every action will yield the desired result. But that action was required because that experience was needed. What resources or support do you need? Tools, knowledge, or skills? Do you have it? If you don't have, just make yourself available to know all that. What potential obstacles or challenges might you encounter? So those will be potential roadblocks, obstacles, coping strategy. So for me, what I think is when you are undergoing something, that is, there is a kind of weakness you can see on my part. There are many things 
in life when you are doing something else and something new concept which needed to be learned, which needs to be learned, then I put it aside. That was a right decision because something at you I I was occupied with something more important or it has to be completed at that moment. So when I give it aside, it becomes you no, know, it gets postponed. So there it has to be a balance between how what five points I can take from whatever I read. If that has the yeah, that has been the choice, then the thing is done. So this is the principle number one we are discussing here. It is about goal setting, and that goal setting has to have so many of that results. And uh, if you are uh, you want to monitor your progress, then the key performance indicators need to be defined. It is not at the organizational level for you. For you. How I have done is I have five categories, five categories of indicators. Areas are key result areas are five. And under that sub categories which are which I call as key performance indicators. You understand? So task number one, task number two and the result of it is the indicator. What I want to achieve. How will you know if you are on track? What is your action plan and timeline for each step? So you need to have a detailed action plan. As I say, first though, you have to put some timeline to it. Timeline to every every broad task that you have in mind. Because a small task will not come in that detail uh, at the first point. So the broader things you can plan out, like uh, it is the activities in a in a week, in a day, in a week, in a month. Then the second is the learning adventure. What do you learn? I suggest that you uh, learn about the market and about the stakeholders you are going to partner. What is your action plan and timeline for each step? Be it a detailed action plan that outlines the specific task deadline, the responsibility for each step. Then the second is the third plan. Networking. How do you decide which stakeholders you will be going with? So those stakeholders and they will have a market presence, right? And they will have some brand ambassadors, declared or undeclared. Who, who in day to return I call as the president's vice president available in the LinkedIn. If you know as many presidents and vice presidents, start interacting with them, and that's it. That, that is the next thing that you should be doing. Some part of it in your time list. This has to if if you are thinking about going to the next level, then this is the most important thing that you need to be. Rockstar performer. Exceptional results. How do you uh, produce exceptional results? Individually, yes, at times, but it has to be a team achievement. That actually that actually shows you the result, the outcome, your credibility, your capability, and also managing the team, leadership quality, communication capital. Right, you would have to have the communication. This is innovative communication. How you will do the innovative communication? You know, you have to be very good verbally and very good in in writing also, orally and written. Both have to be very good and very punctual, very consistent. Whatever you do today, there has to be a short summary of it, and it has to. Go to the boss as a summary. 
Suppose you don't have to do everyday reporting. Elaborately, nobody has time to read everyday elaborated summary. So in two or three lines, you can inform your boss that these has been uh, the progress of the day, right? And communication helps. And the sixth is promotion power up. Professional development has to be tool management and new things, some new leaf adding to your thing has to be there every day. Right? And that is all that you need to do. How you do these things? I I outline three things. First, three things to be kept in mind. The first is to have your story. It has to be written in an in infographic manner. The second is the data management. Whatever data you have, you need to present it in an Excel sheet first. Do you know about how to manage your data? Whatever information comes in, how do you keep that in a manner which can be utilized and synthesized after that? That is the second. And the third is the stakeholder management. Speak to at least five, six stakeholders and uh, establish a relationship so that on an ongoing basis, you need you know more about them and help them. So this is the uh, this is what I have today to for this six tricks to timely. Uh, promotion. These are not all. This is in a short that I have outlined. The innovative communication, the infographic presentation, the data management, and the stakeholder management. There are the four areas where you need to focus on. And, and also leveling up your team. Being a team person. Within the organization, it is a team management. Outside the organization, it is stakeholder management. So be sure and be yourself available for these learnings on a continuous manner. Whatever you do consistently, it will yield a result and it will bring success to your organization. And also it gives you visibility. Your brand is established that way. Thank you for watching and I'm, I'm hoping for more questions on the on this subject that we have just discussed. If you have any question, I welcome all those questions and I'll try to answer them in my subsequent questions. Thank you for watching.